Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. We're at AmishBuiltCabins.com today. We're going to do a walk around here of the El Chapo on the lot. As you can see, we got her sitting on block, but uh, when you purchase one of these, you want to make sure you have a uh, six inch slab ready to go. And we'll come set it up on top of block on the slab. And then you put a nice wooden skirt around it to hide all that block. And that way your plumber got a three foot uh, underneath access point to do all your plumbing. As you can see, beautiful structure. Lots of windows for natural light. You got your nice 26 gauge metal roof with insulation underneath of it. This is a 14 by 40. And it's got a six foot by 40 foot covered porch and of which half of the front porch is screened in. A lot of people ask about how these are constructed. As you can see, these ain't no two by fours. These are four by six timber, four wide, six high, stack one on top of the next all the way up with the chinking in between. If y'all don't know what chinking is, that's this gray matter between the logs. That is what seals the cabin shut making it as efficient as possible as far as your energy goes with your heat and air. Keeping that air inside, the heat inside, and keeping that uh, cold air outside, especially this time of the year. I like to time stamp these uh, videos. So we're in, uh, this is February 5th, 2024. We're on my lot. We just sold off. The Amish wanted me to sell off a bunch of our models. Oh, it's a little blurry there. So we just sold off Big Bertha Baby, Tiny Tim, Carrot Top, and we're waiting for our new models to arrive on the lot. They just see they did it moving all them things around. We got some residue left from all that, but uh, we still got El Chapo Muchacho on the lot. So I figured, hey, let's keep shooting video here and show y'all what we got, okay? So over here, you got this beautiful front porch. Look at them railings. Remember, guys, these are all handcrafted by the Amish here in southern Indiana. Okay, handcrafted. Think about the time, energy, effort, and love that goes into building these cabins. I mean, these things are beautiful. And to think these are built by the hands of the Amish. And anybody that understands Amish built understands Amish quality. You can see some water coming down from the snow here. We had a little bit of snow over there and it's mountain we go with the 26 gauge metal roof that way you got something that lasts as long as the uh the cabin sorry guys it gets loud over here i'm over here by the road and uh beautiful structure like i said you got a six foot by 40 foot front covered porch and uh, this is our best selling one story, one bed, one bath. Now remember, this also comes as a two bed, one bath, 14 by 48, for folks that need a little bit more space, right? You need that second bedroom. This is offered as a 14 by 48 as well. Let's go inside the uh, screened in porch area. Well, actually, let me show you a front view of the cabin so you can kind of see how Half of it's got the screened in part and half of it does not. So let me, uh, it's a little tricky because we got our gas meter over here. So the door is kind of in the middle. Well, a little bit to the right actually. And then see you got the railings on that side, open side of the porch. And then to the left over here, you got the screened in porch to keep them bugs off your back, okay? So beautiful cabin. Built by the Amish, right here in Southern Indiana, but we ship them nationwide, okay? These are what we call modular prefab Amish built cabins. Uh, it's very unique what we do, and folks love them. We, we sell them all over the country. People travel in from all over the, all over the United States. They'll fly into the Louisville International Airport in Louisville, Kentucky, which is only about a 35 minute drive from here. They'll come out to the lot to meet with me, walk through a cabin, sign a contract. So anyways, 
Uh, we're on the front porch here. This window here, that's the bedroom window, and you'll see that in a second when I open up the door and we go inside. I don't like to run my mouth for too long on these little YouTube videos, but uh, let me go inside real quick and show you the inside. Ooh, I got low battery power. Well, let me hurry up now. It says 5%. Hope I don't get cut off here. As you can see, though, beautiful screened-in porch area. Got a little swing, and then you got your sliding glass doors that, that go into the main cabin, okay? So now we are inside. We are inside the cabin. This is the one we call El Chapo Muchacho, by the way. This is the model we call El Chapo. And uh, look at that. Five beautiful windows right there in the living room area that allow all sorts of natural light. You got your varnished southern yellow pine floors ready to go, clean as a whistle. Look at them beams. And then up above, underneath those wood panels, and in between the wood panels you see in the ceiling and then the, the metal roof, you got your insulation up there. And remember, we do offer the insulation package. If you need to beef it up, we, we have an insulation upgrade package that you can get if you need more insulation, because a lot of our customers are up north Michigan, Montana, Vermont, and uh, Minnesota. It gets cold out there, y'all, so sub-zero degree temperatures. So you'll holler at us, and we'll take care of that if you need the upgrade. And remember, the walls ain't two-by-fours. I just showed that to you on the outside. These ain't no two-by-fours. These are thick four-by-six timber, okay? So that's what your exterior walls are. And obviously, wood has thermal mass. You get your wood burning stove and your mini splits going in here, you'll be sweating. Nice and nice and toasty in here, okay? These are built for the Midwest, but we can modify them depending on where they're going as well. If we need to meet up to certain codes for wherever you're located. Now, the kitchen cabinets, like you can see here, are included. Kitchen cabinets are included. Okay. And you just need to let us know what size width your appliances are so we can make sure when we build your cabin, we space it out accordingly. The right side here be a refrigerator. You put your range stove over here, microwave on top. And then you let us know what size hole and to cut here for your kitchen sink. And just like that, we got your window at your land while you're washing your dishes. Like I said, a lot of people too will have us extend this out a little bit. This uh, countertop, so you can put you a built-in uh, dishwasher right over there. And then a lot of people, folks will put either a back door there if they want to upgrade and put a back porch, or that's where the flat screen is going to go. And then right here in the middle part, they'll put them a little uh, little breakfast island or dining room nook table right here. That's typically how most folks do this. Now uh, you can probably see the ladder. That does go up to a loft, but it's not a livable loft. It's just for storage. Everybody's always like, I'll put a bed up there. I'll put a bed up there. No, you won't. My seven-year-old can barely fit up there. It's just for storage, guys, okay? This is a one-story, not a two-story. There's your front door to the right. To the left, this is where your bathroom's going to go. This is just the model, so obviously our fixtures are not in, but you can put your standard tub, toilet, and sink in here choose to leave out the window or leave it in. Some people love this, some people don't, but this is where the front loading washer and dryer goes. Some folks will say, hey, take that out. And uh, I wanna put a stackable and make half of it a closet. So we can do that too, so you can get more closet space. And then into the bedroom. Remember, we do sell a lot of this furniture, but it is not included. Um, Amish just let me uh, display it because they know if it's in this cabin, a lot of folks, when they order their cabin, they're going to order some furniture with it. So Amish know what they're doing. They smart business people. And then over here, you got your little couple of small closets. Most folks don't like this design. They'll just make it one big closet. Okay, we even have people make it one big, uh, kind of like a big, one big unit and have a half bath in here with a toilet and a sink with like a sliding barn door on it. So lots of options. And let me give you another angle here. Beautiful, beautiful cabins, guys. Very well built. We ship them nationwide. And uh, I try to shoot as many of these videos as